Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, how are you? I hope all of you are fine in this pandemic situation. I know you are eagerly waiting to go to school. But in this situation, we have to stay home for our safety. So my dear students, welcome you all. Today is our mathematics class through online. I, Nusra Jahan, teacher of Milestone Preparatory KG School, Class 2, Sector 7. Okay, my dear students, look at these pictures. These are the pictures of three bunches of bananas. There are three bunches of bananas in the picture and five bananas in each bunch. So how many bananas are there? So the total number of bananas is 5 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 15. So there are 15 bananas in total. In this calculation, we add 5 3 times. So we can also write this calculation in the following mathematical sentence. Like, yes, 5 threes are 15 or 5 times of 15. My dear students, I think you can guess what is the name of this process? Yes, the process name is multiplication. So my dear students, today I will take your review class on multiplication. And this symbol name is multiplication sign. So my dear students, what is multiplication? Yes, repeated addition is called multiplication. So we can tell if we add the same number repeatedly a certain number of time is called multiplication. Okay, my dear students. Can you tell me what is the another name of multiplication? Yes, the another name of multiplication is repeated addition. What is called the answer of multiplication? Yes, the answer of multiplication is called product. If we multiply any number with zero, what will be the result? Yes, the answer will be zero. The answer will be zero. Okay, my dear students, look at this mathematical sentence. Here, 7 is multiplied by 5. So, what will be the result here? 35. But here, 5 is called what? Yes, 5 is called here multiplier. And 7 is called multiplicate. Why 5 is here multiplier? Can you tell me? Yes. 5 by which 7 is multiplied. That's why 5 is here multiplier. Okay, my dear students, did you get my point? Okay, students, let's do some multiplication. Multiplication will be much easier for you if we memorize the basic multiplication tables. Let's try this multiplication. The first one, 23 multiplied by 3. Here, 23 is multiplicand, 3 is multiplier. So, we will find out the product. Before solve this problem, we have to remember the rules of multiplication. Already, we know it. After that, I am telling you again. We always start with one's place and work our way from right to left. That means always we will start from one's place then tens place. Okay my dear students look at the first one. First one 23 multiplied by 3. So here we would read times table of 3. So at first we will start with one's place then tens place. Now, three threes are what? Three threes are nine. So, you will write here nine. Then the 
tens place. 3 to the what? It's a very simple multiplication. 3 to the 6. So we will write here 6. So the answer is 69. Now look at this next one. Here 47 multiplied by 5. Here we will use times table of 5 and multiply by all the digits of the upper numbers. So we will start from 1's place. So can you tell me 5 sevens are what? Yes, 5 sevens are 35. So from 35, which digit I will write here? Yes, I will write here 1's place digit that means 5. I will write here 5 and I will write carry 3 top of the tens place. Now the next step we will multiply 5 with this tens place number 4. So 5 4 are 20. Yes then 20 will be add with this carrying number with this carrying number so 20 plus 3 is equal to 23 so the answer is 235 now look at the next one this is side by side multiplication so for side by side multiplication we have to show the rough work so at first we will do the rough work then we will write the number we will write the answer here so four threes are four threes are 12 so we will write here two and the carrying one will write top of the ones place number now 4 6 are 24 and 24 will be added with this 1 so 24 plus 1 is equal to 25 so the number 25 will be here so my dear students look at the answer 252 and my dear students don't forget to write the answer here you have to write the answer here also. Okay, my dear students. Students, today we will solve two word problems from your elementary mathematics book. So, my dear students, take out your elementary mathematics book. From page number 44, we will solve these two exercises. Number one and number two. My dear students, today I will tell you briefly what is what problem. Yes, what problem is a mathematical exercise by writing with sentences and numbers together. When you will get a problem, at first, you will read the question properly to find out what kind of problem is it. Should you add or subtract or multiply? Sometimes keywords will help you to find out the problems. If you find out the problem, then make a plan. How do you solve the problem? Today we will see how to solve what problem on multiplication. Some keywords of multiplications are each or one or a times in all product multiplied by and some keywords of multiplication are same as addition. As we know, multiplication is just repeated addition. 
for what problem on multiplication you have to remember that the problem always give you the detailed information of one thing and ask for many things and which thing or item you will find out this has to write on right side now to solve the word problem you have to maintain some steps the first one statement writing for statement writing arrange the sentences correctly and write the numbers in the proper place with putting sign if it is addition you will put plus sign if it is subtraction you will put minus sign if it is multiplication you will put multiplication sign now calculation this is most important parts of what problem if you do mistake here you your total solution is wrong and you will not get any marks now the last one is answer writing you will write the answer by following the question okay my dear students take out your classwork copy write cw and date in your cw copy and write today's topic's name what problem on multiplication and book's name elementary mathematics book page number 44 exercises 1 and 2 let's solve the problem Okay, my dear students, read exercise number one. Mina has been reading a book two pages a day. How many pages will she read in six days? So, in this problem, the problem gives you detailed information of a day. That means, in one day, Mina reads two pages and asks for many days that means ask for six days and we will find out here in six days how many pages she will read so we'll find out here how many pages so pages will be right on right side okay my dear students look in one day mina reads two pages so in six days Mina reads how many pages? First day, two pages. Second day, another two pages. Third day, she reads another two pages. Fourth day, she reads two pages. Fifth day, she reads two pages also. And the sixth day, she reads also two pages. So in six days, Mina reads 12 pages. Okay, my dear students, look, how will you write the solution? At first, we will arrange the statement. Okay, the first line, in one day, she reads two pages. So, in six days, she will read two multiplied by six pages. Now, we will do calculation. So, we know two six are what? Yes. 2 6 are 12. So in 6 days, Mina reads 12 pages. Now at last we will write the answer. So what will be the answer? Yes, she will read 12 pages in 6 days. Okay, my dear students, let's see exercise number 2. In exercise number 2, there are two segments. So at first we read the question, then we will find out what will be the solution. A pack of biscuit costs two taka. Reza bought seven packs of this biscuit. Now what will be the first one? How much taka would it cost? That means what will be the cost of seven packs of the biscuits? And the second one, if we add it, three more packs of these biscuits how much taka would it be that means if we add three more packs of biscuit with this seven packs so the total number of packs will be 10 so we will find out here what will be the cost of 10 packs of 
this kid are you clear my dear students okay let's see look my dear students the price of one pack of biscuit is 2 taka so what is the price of seven packs of biscuits yes the price of seven packs of biscuit is 14 taka so seven packs of biscuits cost 14 taka Okay, my dear students, look at the solution. The, the first line, one pack of biscuit cost two taka. This line gives you information of one thing. Then, so seven packs of biscuit cost two times of seven taka. So this line asks for many things. Now, what will be the answer? Okay, let's see what will be the answer. So, 2 sevens are 14. Yes, 2 sevens are 14. So, here 7 packs of biscuit cost 14 taka. So, the answer is 7 packs of biscuits cost 14 taka. Okay, my dear students, look. The price of one pack of biscuit is 2 taka. So, already we know Raju bought 7 packs of biscuits and cost 14 taka. Yes, these 7 packs of biscuits cost 14 taka. But, he wants to buy more three packs. So the total number of packs is 10. So what will be the cost of? So what will be the cost of 10 packs of biscuit? Let's see. Yes, the 10 packs of biscuit cost 20 taka. Because already we know 1 pack of biscuit cost 2 taka. So 10 packs of biscuit cost is 10 packs of biscuit cost 2 into 10 is equal to 20 taka. Now look at the solution. First line 1 pack of biscuit cost 2 taka. So 10 packs of biscuits cost 2 tensor. What? So, how much taka would be the cost of 10 packs of biscuit? Yes, it is 20 taka. So, what will be the answer? Yes, the answer is 10 packs of biscuits cost 20 taka. My dear students, what have we learned today's class? You will practice at home. And another thing, remember my students, you have to memorize times table 2 to 10 properly. So today's homework is practice what problems on multiplication at home. Okay, my dear students, I hope you enjoyed the class. So no more today. See you again next class. Stay at home and stay safe. Bye-bye.